Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to the Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod 2.2's Tournament of Robotic Destruction Middleweight Division. We've got some interesting matches for you this week. Team High Voltage's Slashback versus Team Hex's Locknut. Team Z's Razorback versus Team Steel Yard Dog's Top Dog. Team Riot's Vengeance versus Team Megaton's Tempest. Team The Scrapper's Rip Blade 2 versus my own personal. Team Pyrotechnics Burner. And um, before we get the matches started, I'll go through a short tutorial to show you. Not tutorial, no, tutorial point. I'm just going to show you what I did with the bot, how I built it, uh, some things that I set up there. We'll be fighting in the battle box. Uh, let's see, team headquarters. This is the team I made uh, Pyrotechnics. Uh, the, the quote there is Burn, Fire, Burn, it all is a quote from Teen Titans Slade, if you ever watch the old cartoons. So, let me show you the little bots I built. This was the test bot. Uh, it was supposed to be the middleweight, but he wound up being too heavy, so I had to redesign and go with this bot here. His name is Burner, and he uses a vertical, uh, actually no, a horizontal um, spinner. But it's not a drum spinner, it's, uh, I'm not really sure what you'd call it. It's, it's a lawnmower blade. It's literally a lawnmower blade. It's, uh, it also has a, um, it's got some good decals there. I, I worked real hard painting it. I'm really proud of it. It's got the little um, slot lines. They're not perfect, but they're really hard to line up. So he's got the little slot lines to, you know, make it seem like the blade is actually going uh, through a slot as opposed to through the uh, body of the bot. Um, the other feature is if I press the C key, he's got a self-writing mechanism, which I totally copped from James. So, you know, he'll be okay if he gets flipped over, I believe. Uh, if we look inside the wiring, he got really heavy really fast, but I put quite a few batteries in him to uh, be able to power the wheels and the spinning blade. And He's a quick little machine. I thought about taking maybe one or two of the battery packs out and possibly putting in a secondary weapon. But I'm not sure how that would work out. Uh, we'll have to see. If I took out two of the battery packs maybe and reduced some weight, and maybe put him some side spikes or some back spikes, something in case his primary weapon gets damaged. But for now, he seems to be pretty okay. He's a fast little machine. He can really go. And I believe I've got the blade spinning uh, counterclockwise with the sharp edge facing out so that that'll be good. Let's see, uh, let's see if he can self-write. Where's the ramp? Oh, time to find out. Okay, press the C key. Come on. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh no, don't tell me it doesn't work. Let's see. No. Wait, oh, there it is. Oh, I almost had it. Come on. Okay, forwards and see. Oh, yes. <laughs> he can self-write. Yeah, just barely. Um, I might want to make the poll just a little bit longer. Okay, so let's see if I can switch that out real quick. Components. Let's see now. Extenders. Okay, uh, there's the poll. Maybe I should make it something more solid because I think it's just that, for some reason, it's that, uh, what was it? Not polycarbonate, but it's something that's like basically invisible. Uh, I, I picked the lightest weight, 2 kilograms, 3 kilograms, 4, 5, yeah, I gotta go with polycarbonate. This must be, if only I knew the length of it, 20 centimeters, let's try 40, see what that looks like. Okay, this is about the exact same length, I think, isn't it? Yeah, this looks about the exact same length. Wait, why is it letting me, can I attach it to both? Hang on, oh my god, I can attach it to both. And I hope I have this blade facing the right way. There, there we go! Oh, frick. Screw you. Maybe the self-writing mechanism itself will flip him over. <laughs> That'll be against the entire purpose of the thing. Frick, I, I can't flip him over. Where's the ramp? And this is a horrible camera angle. Hang on. F2. There we go. Oh, but this one follows along. Get it. He's unflippable. Awesome. Great. Glad I got this robot. <sighs> Let's just give it the long poly carbonate extender. Just the 
basic combat. I really like the compressor arena, it's one of my favorites, but the bots are too stupid to get down off the ramp without getting stuck. We can try the half circle uh, arena, that might be good. Alright, let's start it up. Alright, official match. I don't know who's going to win this one. I don't... You can feel the tension between mm, the that's a good bot. Is he a flipper? Match. I think Locknut's probably going to take it. Oh, boy. Let's see. This is a... Decent camera angle. Ooh! Whoa! And Slashback comes in super fast. Locknut's getting his weapon spinning up. He's dealing some serious damage. He's getting flipped all around though, he might get stuck. Super fast weapon right there, dealing major damage to the flippers on, on Slashback. Since this is the DSL version, I don't know the bot's names as well. I wish I did. Oh man. Locknut with over 8,505 points. Tearing him up. Slashback doesn't have much of a chance unless he can pull off a miracle. He's got to get Locknut under that hammer, and he does, but he needs to watch out for the hammer himself. And, oh, and it gets a hit. A few more good hits, and this could be it for him. Best two out of three. Locknut goes up in the air. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm so far behind the action, it's going to sound like I'm out of sync, but I'm really not. Locknut's caught in the corner. Looks like Slashback's got a good flipping mechanism, but getting torn off by Locknut's hammers. Arena Hazard's coming up now. Locknut's getting pushed towards the hammer. The hammer seems to be stuck, and it's coming back down again. Oh, and Locknut gets the final hit on Slashback. Very good match with over 19,000 points. Ooh. I do like the Half Circle Arena. I think that's where the one we'll go with. That's very good. I can't remember where the uh, the bots actually fought for the, uh, the preliminaries round arena. one, but uh, this is a good spot. It's tonight. a good spot. There is a giant hmm. hammer in this arena that is sure to give you a giant This is going to be a longer video. If you get too close, you can feel the Sorry, it was so uh, the unprofessional with me checking my bot I just match. wanted to make sure it was uh, uh, running all right. I'll probably cut the part out uh, where I. Oh god, these camera angles. Time to kick this match Isn't there one that just lets me control the camera? Where was that? There we go. All right, I'll control the camera this time. I'm sure I can find a better camera angle than the PC. Whoa, where can I? What the heck? Oh, uh, it looks like you can only uh, control the camera from the the observation platform here. It does get locked up pretty easily. Locknut's spinning out of control. Okay, I need to keep the camera over here to keep it away from the hammer because every time the hammer comes down, it locks the camera to the hammer. Slashback stuck in a corner. Locknut's upside down. That stupid hammer. Oh! Locknut's control board destroyed. Wait, so Slashback won that one. Okay, I need to make sure to write that down. We're going to go with the top-down view for this one for a second. Oh! And Slashback takes a huge hit from the hammer from the very start. And another devastating hit from Locknut. As Locknut gets his hammer weapon spinning at full speed. Ooh, it looks like one or two more good hits. And that'll be it for Slashback. Oh dear, he's in a bad situation here. But Locknut's gone upside down now and has no self-riding mechanism. He's totally out of control. <laughs> Both bots seem to be um, basically immobilized, or what you could consider as immobilized. Slash, Slashback just barely able to move now using his flipping device. Locknut seems as if he's hit the arena wall and he's able to catapult himself right side up again. He's moving slowly towards Slashback and it looks like he could try to finish it off if he can get one more hit. What's he stuck on? Slashback's getting counted out and here it is. That's it. It goes to Locknut. Two out of three. 
All right, I'll get that written down and we'll be right back. And we're back. We've got Team Z's Razorback versus Steel Yard Dog's Top Dog. Let's see, without further ado, actually, let me check the arena real quick. I think there are some better options. Uh, let's see, Metal Skull seems pretty good. Yeah, I might want to try that. I just really don't want them to get stuck on ramps. I just hate them getting stuck on ramps all the time. We're going to give it a shot, and if it works out okay, it works out okay. Um, that's, uh, that's another good one to try out. I might try to go with that one. So let's try the Metal Skull Arena. Don't, don't get stuck on the ramps. Enter the Metal Skull Arena. Everyone hold on to your seats. This match is going to blow All you right. away. Let's see what these, these two bots can do. Work of any bot unfortunate to get too close. I hate <laughs> springtime every year. Sinuses just all the time. Tonight. Razorback, wow. See, that's another reason why I really love the, um, the idea of... Oh, make sure the camera angle. Oh, that's a good one. All right, I like this. Just Let's don't begin. get stuck on the corner. Step. No, what? The match is over. You make your mother ashamed. You make the Lord very sad. What are you doing? You just... You know, instant replay that. Instant replay that. And we're back. I hope that instant replay worked out. I've never tried an instant replay before, but I'm not cutting that razor back. You should be ashamed of yourself. Dad, just seriously, don't get stuck on the ramps. That's 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 just great. That's that's just awesome. Give me just one arena where you where you guys just won't screwball yourselves. Oh boy. Okay, let's try the Robot Wars Arena. <sighs> Don't screwball yourselves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Razorback starts off fast. Goes in for a full charge. Looks like he's maneuvering Top Dog towards the flipper, and there it goes with both bots flying up into the air. Not doing so bad now, Razorback, now that you don't have a pit to fall into. Or at least not one that's open immediately. He gravitated towards that pit like it was the most wonderful thing he had ever seen in his life. Uh-oh. Razorback's got Top Dog on his on his um on his bottom now or upside down. He's got him stuck in a corner, racking up points at over two thousand. Oh! Hey, uh Top Dog is um fully invertible. I didn't realize that. He just didn't have enough push power to get out of the corner there. Oh, there we go. That's a good match. All right, Razor back over the burners now. Both bots smoking on fire. Looks like uh, looks like Top Dog's taking the worst of it. Both bots still over the burners. We've got Top Dog with 2,000 points, but Razorback absolutely annihilating with over 6,000 points. You know, he reminds me of Bluish, just with more razors, like a lot more. <laughs> Looks like, uh, looks like Razorback's got Top Dog stuck in a corner again. He's taking a lot of chassis damage. Uh, it looks like his uh, armor is failing him now. A few more good hits to that. Oh, and there it is. Man, these middleweight competitors are going to be tough. Okay, that's one for uh, Razorback. Okay. Again. I want a good, clean fight. Let's get it on... All right, and both bots starting off strong again. Razorback pushing back towards Top Dog straight to the corner, but Top Dog actually, he's got a lot more forward pushing power than he does reverse pushing power. Once you get him into, oh, and there comes the flipper. Watch it, yeah, and there they go. Whee! <laughs> Ooh, man. Looks like Razorback took the worst of that one. Top Dog comes in hot and heavy. <laughs> Top Dog. Bleh. Looks like he's upside down now. He doesn't have much reverse pushing power, so if Razorback can manage to keep him in a corner and start racking up points, it seems like he gets a lot more hits in whenever he attacks the uh, back end of the bot. Got him stuck in a corner now. Countdown's going to start out any minute. We've got two minutes left in the round. Both bots being counted out at about nine seconds. Top Dog pushing back. Razorback still got him 
basically in the corner. Actually, oh, there, there's some buff souls back there too. Ooh, and Top Dog takes a lot of damage from the arena rep weaponry. That might actually be what cost him in the last match. Here they go towards the middle area of the arena. Something might drop down, I'm not sure. Burner comes on. Doesn't look good for Top Dog right now. He's already on fire. The last He's already smoking. The last thing he needs is more fire. More burners. Both bots actually trying their best. It looks like Razorback's getting the better of Top Dog, though. Got him stuck up against the corners. More of those ankle biting razors coming on. Razorback with 5,000 points. The Top Dog's trailing 1,706. Still, still racking up a few points, but. Razorback way in the lead. I don't know if that uh, middle arena hazard is ever actually going to drop down. It could be a refrigerator, it could be an anvil, it could be a hammer. It's been a lot of things. But it doesn't look like... I can't see it from where... Nope. Oh! It's a safe! Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to do... Oh! Ooh! And there it goes! <laughs> I shouldn't have looked at it. I was wrong. It wasn't a safe. It was a refrigerator. <laughs> oh, also I wanted to point out Look at these two goobers. <laughs> oh, terrible. But hey, it's a, it's a labor of love, am I right? All right. Razorbacks, I think he's pretty much definitely got this one in the bag. Uh, Top Dog would have to pull off some kind of a miracle to get him now. We'd have to put him in the pit or, um, or just... No, we can't time him out. There's only 24 seconds remaining. And I don't think he can even flip him over because it uh, looks like Razorback has the same anti-flipper device that my bot has, only his is external and mine is internal. Honestly, I might want to think about changing that if it makes such a big difference, because uh, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen an internal flipper uh, self lighter Maybe I made it wrong. I might have needed to make it external in order to make it work. And that's two for Razorback. He goes on to the next round. Let me get that written down and we'll be right back. Alright everybody, we're back and we've got Team Riot's Vengeance versus Team Megaton's Tempest. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop putting the mic down, but that's uh, Team Riot's Vengeance versus Team Megaton's Tempest. Let's see what these bots can do. I like the stage. It seems to work out pretty well. Whoa, 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 whoa. As long as I can get the camera angle up quick enough. Okay, we've got Vengeance over there in the corner, getting the spinner up to full spinning speed. Oh, these are both spinner bots! I didn't even realize until just now. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ooh! I'm not sure who took the brunt of that one. Looks like, uh, looks like Tempest is, Tempest is getting hit pretty hard, but Riot's the one who's spinning out of control right now. Upside down, but fully invertible. Ooh, these are some heavy hits. I really like them. These spinner bot matches are pretty good. I don't think I want my bot to go up against either one of those guys, because, I mean, I guess technically if I win my round, I'll have to. And the pit comes down. I didn't even see anybody hit the button, but there it goes. That might be the way for them to shore this thing up. Tempest with over 12,000. Good. Never mind, Tempest. Look at Vengeance with over 23,000 points. I didn't even see that. Wow. He's tearing them apart. I really don't want to fight him. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop everything. Stop. Is that... Dude, that is such good design detail. Look inside of... um inside of Tempest's um, armor paneling there. They went as far as to actually put um, decal designs on the inside of the bot. Looks like lightning. Uh-oh, he's getting counted out though. Unless he takes another good hit from uh, Vengeance, he's gone. Four, three, two, one, and done. Wow, Vengeance wanted both points and mobility. Hmm. That is a clear victory right there for Vengeance on Team Riot, so. Let's start the next match. Hmm, very interesting. Good, good round that one. Good round. I really enjoyed it. All right, we've got Vengeance getting his spinner going up again. Oh, he went right over the flame, uh, flame, one of the floor flamers. He might want to try that. Whoa, heavy hits. And there goes Tempest, way out of control. <laughs> He's doing the robot dance. Now, I can't quite tell because their spinners are going so fast, but I don't... I think they're actually going in opposite directions. One counterclockwise, one clockwise, respectively. And if you look closely, you'll see that Tempest actually has a spike, which would normally be a weapon, on the very bottom of his spinners to keep him from dragging whenever it's spinning. 
so it seems as if he would actually do better upside down than right side up. Or has he already been flipped upside down? I, I can't even tell anymore. No, he, he must be upside down. He must be right side up. Otherwise, they wouldn't put the spinner on the top. That wouldn't make any sense. And there goes um, one of uh, Tempest's uh, drums. Uh, one out of the four, leaving him completely unstable. He's going uh, crazy right now. He's got to get out of that X marks the spot. Or he might have a refrigerator drop on him. It missed. It, um, it took out the camera angle, that's for sure. We got Vengeance with over 26,000 points backing it up, just like the last match. Uh, he's knocking tips towards the floor flipper, and there he goes. I don't think it matters at this point whoever gets flipped over, because they are both out of control. <laughs> We've got... Oh, wow, the floor flipper almost helped Tempest. It almost put it on top of Vengeance, would have, which would have helped him deal a lot of top-down chassis damage, but... It looks like Vengeance is going to take this one home again with over 32,000 points. Excuse my poor narration. We've got Tempest uh, right now with uh, 15,000 points for heavy chassis damage. It doesn't look like he's taking any hits to the battery yet, though, or to the uh, CPU. I think that's the, yeah, that's the purpose, those little green buttons right there. That's hits to the CPU. Looks like everybody gets three. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing this isn't Spider-Man, because then everybody will only get one. Yeah, it's a, it's a done deal right now. We've got less than 45 seconds as uh, Vengeance proceeds to just slowly but surely take the paneling off of Tempest and leave him with pretty much le nothing left to bring home. He's, he's just a drum right now. He's got two panels left and I think one, one, one hammer left on the side there. No two, actually. You got this. You could totally pull it off, Tempest. I, I believe in miracles. Why the heck not? I've seen stranger things on this game. 17 seconds left. We're running out of time for a count out. 14 seconds. Oh, it, it, it's all vengeance. It's all vengeance. Might as well end it here, but just for the sake of fair play, I'll let it play out. and I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. This match is done. And we're back, folks, and we've got... In this match, finally, the one we've all been waiting for, the Scrappers, Rip Blade 2 versus my own personal Pyrotechnics Burner. I'm going to turn the face cam on for this one. I don't need to really know my score. All I really want to do is win. And uh, I chose the Battle Box for this arena because I really want to use it, but the camera angles suck if you're not actually in the box itself. Oh, oh geez. Hey, 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 hey. Let's, uh, let's chill out. I want the forward angle. Hang on. Cycle... Am I even going to have to go up against my opponent? Uh, give me the forward angle. Put the uh oh. We've got Ripley 2's coming in. Ah, I got some damage on me. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's a good camera angle. I can deal with that one. I'm going to try to deal damage to his blade there. Maybe I can knock it off. It doesn't look like he can get to me. I'm just going to stay here calmly. Calmly and make sure he doesn't hit the sides. Make sure he doesn't hit my sides. Those are my weak points. Oh no! I, I didn't realize he could take my lawnmower blade off! What the... I, oh, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, maybe I do need to see those points. What the heck did I just hit? No! Oh, time to test it out! Hey, it works! Uh, it works a little too well. <laughs> okay, oh god. Let me reattach my blade. Let me reattach my blade. If I stay... Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I should have built him with some secondary weaponry. No, that's the spikes, you idiot! Oh, frick. Okay, at least I know the flipper works. Maybe he'll just get counted out or beat to death by the arena. Um, um, can I find a better uh, camera angle? Any camera angle? I hate these camera angles. Just put the camera behind me. For the love of climbing. What do I even do against this guy? Oh god, I should have made my forward facing controls different. Yeah, come get me. Uh, uh, let me turn tab off real quick. How that? Stop putting me into the force by time at 7,000. Oh, I can win. I just gotta time him out. <laughs> this is such a horrible way to win. Uh, seven, six. Oh, come on, just get timed out. I, I can't move towards him because at this point, if I, if I get hit by the spikes, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'll just pick this arena stage so that they can't get to me. I won! Haha! 
So I'll be moving. Wait. Oh, it's best two out of three. I'm an idiot. Oh, God. I gotta beat him two more times with these god awful camera angles. Why can't I get the camera in front of me? How do I do that? Uh, I'm not gonna go main menu because that'll erase everything. We're just gonna have to live with it. Alright. Oh. Oh, goodness. Will this do? I can't see him. No, this will never do. There it is! Why wouldn't he do that before? Oh, God. Okay, this time I need to stay away from his blade. I didn't realize it could completely knock mine off. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the one I don't like because it has the feedback lag. Oh, God. Frick, I can't. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. I know I've seemed like I'm overacting, so I should just relax. It's just a bot battle. Let me see if I can... Hey, nice little ramp there. Yeah, see? I can go up these because I'm maneuverable and you're not. But you got that tasty side exposed. Let me get to you. Oh my god. No, 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 no. He's got such a powerful blade. Okay, 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 okay. Man, I really should have come up with a secondary weapon here. I can't get around to his back end. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, maneuver, maneuver, maneuver. Outmaneuver him, outpilot him. Frick. Okay, uh, 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 uh. I'm going this way. Now I'm over here! Now I'm over here! Uh oh. Come on, yes, get that back tire! Turn, 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 turn! Oh god, no! No, 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 no! No! See, I wanted to go blade on blade because I thought mine would knock his off, but it turns out that his is better than mine. Oh god. What's my point to. Ah, shit! You shoot! Don't get hit by the arena stuff. Tire! Tire! Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh god, no. 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 Hey, you know what? You're, uh, you're awfully flimsy. How about you get hit by this hammer? Come on. Come to the hammer. Come to the hammer, good guy. Come to the hammer. Or just stay there and get hit by the spikes. See? I'm already so damaged. Okay, let's save some battery life. Turn the blade off for a second. Move around a little bit. Okay, let me think. He's at 1900. I'm at uh, too low. Okay, I gotta try to get some more hits in. Ooh, is he stuck? Yes! Hits! 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 Hits all day! Hits for days! Get as many as you can. Yeah! Push him! Push him! Push him! Keep him there! Keep him there! Okay, yeah, yeah! Just rack up points! Just push and rack up! Push and rack up! Uh oh, careful, careful! Okay, he's stuck on the spikes! Push him up against the spikes! Oh man, I must have this blade facing in the wrong direction. Or, uh, I must have it, like, turning the wrong way. Clockwise, counterclockwise, that whole business. Watch out for the hammer. I don't remember where the hammer is right now. I've got way more than enough points. I just need to avoid him for the last couple of seconds. I win! Yes! Piloting! It's all about piloting! <laughs> well, uh, best two out of three. I won that one, so it's the, um... It's the semi-finals for me. I'll see you there next week. Uh, keep rooting for me. I hope you enjoyed the match. And until next time, you take it easy, my friends.